figure shows some apparatus known as Leslie Cube, which is to be used to compare the emission of infrared radiation from four differently painted surfaces. There are four infrared detectors so that each detector is facing the center of one of the four sides. A. Describe how you would use this apparatus to compare the infrared radiation from the four surfaces. Let's see what happens in the Leslie Cube. Leslie Cube is a hollow box. This is an inlet to pour boiling water inside. This is the source of heat. Hot water as a hot body will produce infrared radiation, which is heat radiation. Each side of the four sides of the Leslie Cube will be painted with different colors. This side is black. This side is painted silvery. You can paint the other two sides with two other different colors, white and gray, for example. Now four thermopiles will be placed, each one facing the center of each side. The thermopiles must be placed at equal distances. These thermopiles will detect the heat radiation emitted or radiated from the boiling water inside the cube to outside the cube. This is how you use a Leslie cube to compare the emission of infrared radiation for four differently painted surfaces. Let's answer this. Use thermopiles to take the reading of each surface. Put the thermopiles at equal distances from each surface. Fill the cube with hot water. Compare the readings of the thermopiles. Question B. After you did that, suggest which surface will be the best emitter and which will be the worst emitter. This side is dull black and this side is silvery. Dull black is good absorber and good emitter. That's why it will take heat radiation from the boiling water and allow it to pass outside the block. While the silvery painted surface is a good reflector, that's why it will reflect the heat back into the boiling water. Only a very few amount of heat radiation can be emitted. That's why the thermal pile facing the black surface will give the higher reading. So the best emitter is dull black and the worst emitter is the shiny white.